Want me to read the dress code? Okay, you got it. This was a comment on another post. But I thought it could be a post by itself. Many moons ago, when dinosaurs walked the earth and I was still in high school, I knew a girl named Jennifer. Names changed to protect the innocent. We had skirt length rules then too. Now as well all know. Sometimes teenagers don't grow uniformly. For example, when I graduated I was 5 feet 8 inches and had an arm span of almost 6 feet. I wouldn't grow into my arms until I was almost 21. Now, Jennifer's legs came in before the rest of her. Like a lot of us at that age. She was kind of gangly. She was a 16-year-old girl walking around with Claudia Schiffer's legs. Also, like a lot of teenagers, she had problems finding clothes that fit. She'd end up buying tops from the kids' section, and pants and skirts from the tall ladies' section. One day she gets written up and sent home for having a skirt that was too short because it was some arbitrary amount above her knees. Her parents went digging into the dress code and found out that that it didn't specify a length above the knee, it specified a length below the fingertips. Since Jennifer was a human stork, the specified length was several inches above her knees, and in fact higher than the skirt she had been written up for. That weekend, they hit the limited with a tape measure and bought a ton of skirts and shorts that met the requirements. Then they went to the local office supply place, and had a copy of the relevant page of the dress code laminated. This was a much bigger deal back then. Monday morning comes and she's the talk of teenage boys for miles. For reasons that should be obvious. Eventually the barely sentient rhinoceros of a hall monitor we shall call Mrs. Lemonface latches on. To her. Drags her to the office and launches into a screaming tirade about how this girl is dressed and threatened to call her parents. I was in the office for disciplinary reasons of my own, so I got to watch as the dean asked her just where she got the idea that she could wear that skirt to school with a straight face that would serve her well at the World Series of Poker. She reached into her bag pulled out the laminated copy of the dress code and a dressmaker's tape, stands up, and asked the dean if he would like to measure her skirt. I didn't know the dress code rule either, until she read it to them off of her laminated copy, but as soon as she did, it was obvious that she was in compliance. She just had arms that hadn't caught up with her legs yet. The dean was pissed and he ranted for what seemed like forever. He definitely didn't want to admit that he had been bested by a teenage girl. But after screaming for a while, he sent her on her way. I'm told she got dragged down there a few more times over the next day or two for the same thing. And ended up being let go. Obviously word got around about this. And the rest of that spring was an absolute dream for the male of the species as practically every leg in the school was showing as much skin possible. Once we figured out that this could be used to anger the administration, we were relentless. As a result of my ridiculous arms, I didn't get to play, but I certainly enjoyed the scenery. They changed the dress code the next school year to a distance above the knee, and the fun was over. We didn't stop beating them over the head with the dress code. We just didn't get to use skirts and shorts anymore. We had the same rule in my school. We did the opposite. All of us coordinated to get shorts that were too short by barely a knuckle. Because if they wanted to catch people, they would have to stop and make you prove it and they didn't have enough gross sweatpants to make. Everyone change. They got a lot less strict about violations after that. Many, many decades ago when I was in college I was home on spring break. A dear friend was in college at a nearby private university with many extremely limiting rules. One of these was part of the dress code for women and was skirt length. The skirt had to touch the ground when kneeling. Now I am 5 feet 8 inches tall and have long legs. 
like about 51% of my body is leg and foot. Back then I was much thinner than I am now and I wore mini skirts and shorts that were well short. I went to visit my friend on campus of this very conservative private university. We were walking around campus so she could show me where she had classes and such. As we were enjoying our day some twerpee guy comes up to me and starts telling me off about how I was dressed, mini skirt, and tells me to kneel down on the sidewalk. Now I did have pantyhose on and I was not about to ruin them by getting down on the sidewalk. We tried to tell him I was not a student and was just visiting for the day but he would hear none of that. Back all those years ago my college did not have ID cards since I attended a very small college in. Everyone pretty much knew everyone. Finally after about 5 minutes of him being rude I had had enough. I told him if he was determined to have me disciplined for a dress code violation he better make. Damn sure I was even a student at that university. I kinda got in his face to inform him. Again that I was not a student at that institution and he had best understand that fact really quick or I would file a complaint against him with the president of the school. I asked for his student ID, name and where he lives on campus. If I remember I told him I would yell for the campus police if he did not back off. I guess I was more intimidating than I had ever realized as he turned and walked away. The dress code in my high school was changed every year. I had a skirt that was allowed my freshman and junior years but not sophomore or senior. As a kid, I never understood arbitrary dress codes. Now, as a middle-aged adult male, I still don't get it. There are so many more important things that deserve attention. I remember this from my school. Depending on how you held your arms, you could cheat it a bit for an extra centimeter or two if you grew since buying clothes. Such a dumb rule. At my religious school skirts had to be a certain length below the knee, but also a certain length above the ankle. Because if your skirt was too long that was attention grabbing? I'm dot not sure how. It was an all-girls school. I don't remember the exact length but that younger girls couldn't meet the requirements because their legs weren't long enough to be both that length below the knee and above the ankle. A guy the first know that works at Wally Mark wears a kilt to work because guys aren't allowed to wear shorts. This makes me purr. I remember being sent home because I wore one of those shirts that had short sleeves with Gaps, cutouts between the spaghetti strap part over your shoulder and the part over the top of your arm. I remember my mother telling me that at her Catholic boarding school, she would be 80 now. So it's a long time ago. They all had to have the uniform for the school picture. In their case however, they measured from the ground up so that all skirts bottoms would be even in the picture. But there were girls who just made the 5 foot mark and others that were closer to 6 feet tall. So while the bottom looked even, the rest looked ridiculous. Why even have a dress code? If you want to control your students' clothes, have a school uniform. Otherwise, let it be up to the students and their parents to decide what is acceptable. As a school teacher, I love it when a student uses the rules to get back against the status quo. I really don't get dress code. Like yeah, it should be okay for school but I don't get uniforms or no shoulder showing, or whatever. I too am a long-legged person with short arms according to my private school's archaic dress code. Of the time. Mid-90s. I could have gotten away with wearing hot pants. Had the opposite issue, as an Aussie. We had actual school uniform of skirt in the school tartan, shirt, jumper. Didn't matter what style or how long, short the skirt was. It just had to be a skirt in the school tartan. 
So Cindy was fine wearing a skirt that was literally just below her butt. But Caitlin got written up for wearing baggy knee-length culottes that looked like a skirt. Because they were shorts and thus forbidden face with rolling eyes. My school had the finger-tip rule. If fingers went past the hemline it was too short. My high school had a dress code that, for women, forbade wearing tank top style tops and restricted the kind of shirts worn. Among other things, some enterprising girl in my class pointed out that the school's cheerleader outfit broke the dress code in at least three ways, which caused resentment among a not insignificant portion of the student body. Some decided to start wearing outfits out of compliance making sure to do so on days that cheerleaders were supposed to wear their outfits during school such as football game days spirit days and the like this caused some consternation among staff that cared because anyone caught or sent to the office would point out that there were 20 girls required to break the rules in the end the school board amended the dress code for the next year by writing in an exception for cheerleaders. This, for some reason, did nothing to solve the resentment issue. When I was doing my A-levels, we used to do our exams in this massive sports hall. We were warned before all winter exams that it got cold in there and we should layer up. And before summer exams that it got hot and we should wear less clothing. Then the teacher had to issue a warning. On one particularly hot exam day a girl had worked out the best way to stay cool. She wore a bikini. A lot of boys and a few girls' performances suffered in that exam so now they had to warn against. Something that most would assume was common sense. I'm ancient. When I started grammar school in the late 1960s skirts could not be more than 6 inches above the knee. Mini skirts were the fashion and staff rushed about with rulers. Two years later, midi skirts were the fashion and staff still rushed about with rulers because now skirts could not be below the knee. Tears of joy. You know, I never understood why all the other guys were so interested in legs. Does anyone have an explanation? So apparently we can wear jean skirts at work. Jean skirts just happen to be for sale these days. But they're just so damn ugly I don't think I can buy it to stick it to the man. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.